Welcome to another week in gaming with me, GD, who has just come back from this year's Eurogamer Expo in London, where we've had the opportunity to try out the PS4, some new games, met some friends like I am Ryan, who has drawn me this awesome picture that is now on my wall. Plus, as you can hear, I've obtained a cold, so let's make this episode short and sweet. So, in this week's news, we have the three Valve announcements. The Xbox One can be stood up vertically at your own risk, and microtransactions come to GTA Online. Also, if you want to skip to a certain section of the video, just click on the labelled section to the left. First in this week's news, over the course of the week, Valve has made three announcements that outline its plans for the future of Steam, its digital distribution platform. There's a lot to take in and many questions that still need answers, so here's a summary of what we've learnt this week. Valve has developed a new Linux based operating system built around Steam itself. The free Steam OS will be available on living room machines, it will run Steam and a handful of other media services which are yet to be announced, but think Netflix, BBC iPlayer, Hulu, basically similar services to those we can access on current gen consoles. Steam OS will be built to run Steam with large TV screens. It's likely to be easier to use Steam OS on the living room machine rather than the manually connecting your gaming PC to your TV monitor. However, many of the thousands of games currently available to play on Steam are not yet compatible with Linux. Expect a full list of supported games much nearer Steam OS's public release. Steam OS is also able to stream Windows and Mac games from a PC or Mac. That means that if you run Steam on your normal gaming PC, you can use a living room machine with SteamOS to easily play these games on a larger screen. SteamOS will be available to download for free soon. The second announcement of the week was that of the long-awaited Steam Box. There will be a series of Steam Boxes produced by third-party manufacturers, in other words Valve themselves won't produce them. Each with different specs and prices, they will run SteamOS. Valve aims to ensure that all the Steam boxes are open and fully upgradable unlike PlayStation Xbox consoles. We haven't yet seen what any of the actual Steam boxes will look like and a handful of prototype Steam boxes are being sent out shortly with Valve's partners releasing retail versions in 2014. The third announcement is Steam's controller. In place of the usual analog sticks, the Steam controller has dual trackpads. Valve claims that the precision gained from this approach is comparable with that from a mouse. The centre of the controller is taken up by a touchscreen similar to the functionality of a Wii U's controller. There are 16 buttons on the controller, Valve aims for every Steam game to be playable using the Steam controller. The controllers will be compatible with every version of Steam, not just through Steam boxes. The Steam controller will be available to buy in 2014. Next in the news, the Xbox One was not designed to be stood vertically and doing so could result in a number of problems, according to a Microsoft executive. Albert Pinello, a senior director at the Xbox business, warned prospective customers we don't support vertical orientation, do it at your own risk. It won't be a calling problem, we just didn't design the drive for vertical. Because it's a slot loading drive, we just didn't design it for both, he told GameSpot. Like the Xbox 360, Sony's new PS4 is designed to stand in either orientation, but Pinello claimed that only a small proportion of customers want to stack their machines vertically. We found interestingly enough that 80% of people, believe it or not, have their Xbox 360's horizontal. Xbox One will release across 13 territories on November the 22nd. Finally, in this week's news, Rockstar has announced new details about Grand Theft Auto Online, including confirmation of the microtransactions. In a post on Rockstar Newswire, Rockstar explained that if you're the completely instant gratification type, you can choose to buy denominations of GTA dollars. You will have the option to purchase GTA dollars through the in-game store. The game and its economy have been designed and balanced for the vast majority of players who will not buy extra cash. There is no in-game paywall and nothing that should disrupt the balance of the game. You don't have to spend real money to attain the cars, guns, clothes, flash and style of a high roller in Los Santos. 
but can if you wish to get them a little quicker. Rockstar added that the economy is balanced differently from the single player economy and cash earned in one cannot be taken over to the other. Most players will earn cash much faster online than in story mode. It also explains GTA Online's reputation system, noting reputation is earned from all your online exploits in everything you do in GTA Online and will help you rank up, providing access to new features, weapons and criminal contacts. Spend cash you've gained on cars, clothes, guns, properties and much more. You can either quickly earn cash through profitable activities like knocking over armoured cars, winning street races, doing stick-ups or a host of other cash making endeavours. Rockstar also warns fans of some growing pains once GTA Online goes live, noting there will be typical growing pains for an online game, including but not limited crashes, glitches, crazy bugs, gameplay modes and mechanics that need rebalancing and other surprises. Even in GTA 5 story mode, some of you may have seen a few odd and even amusing little glitches out there last week. This sort of thing is inevitable in a massive open world game and there will surely be lots more unexpected oddities like this in the online world next week. Rest assured, we'll be monitoring and actively doing all we can to smooth such things out as they happen, but we need your help to find them, as well as your feedback to help fine tune all of the game systems so everything is perfectly balanced. Rockstar reiterates that up to 16 GTA Online players will be able to participate in open world exploration, so words catch a movie, go mountain biking, hit the shooting range and much more, as well as jobs, races and sports. Players will also be able to create a character with the character creator, then earn some cash and spend it getting dressed for success. You can also collect and customise cars for your garage and personalise your full weapon catch. The following content updates also planned following the launch of GTA Online include Content Creator, Beach Bum Pack, which brings us 4 new amazing beach bum vehicles, over 300 new items of incredible down tempo leisure wear, and 2 new but not remotely relaxing weapons. Capture the Flag, heist that will introduce full on cooperative heist missions which will require careful planning, teamwork and sharp execution along with the highest planning board for your apartment and Rockstar confirms that all of the updates will be free and additional info will be coming as our plans develop through the launch period and as we get feedback from you. Grand Theft Auto Online will launch on October the 1st. Joel to watch over her. What on earth do the fireflies want with you? We ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> And if you want to know if your game has made the top 20 for this week, either go to yourgame.com or click on the link in the details below. Now it's time for the new releases starting with Rain on PSN out October the 2nd. Next we have F1 2013 on Xbox 360, PS3 and PC out on October the 4th. Also we have Just Dance 2014 on Xbox 360, PS3, Wii and Wii U out October the 4th. 
And finally we have The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on the Wii U out October the 4th. So that's it for another week in gaming for the week ending the 28th of September. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook in the links below. Also if you like the show click on the subscribe button and the like button below. And remember to tune in next week for more of the hottest news, UK charts, new releases up for the week and hopefully a better GD right here on another week in gaming.